Okay, let's talk about emojis and uh, configurable toolbar. So uh, coming to emojis, so emojis, uh, you know, the goal behind this feature is just to, uh, I would say, make things feel more informal between, you know, the end user and uh, the agent. So at a high level, what emojis does is, you know, it kind of helps you express whether an agent or requester, it helps you express uh, your emotions more accurately than or more quickly than you can do so in words. And this also, um, you know, kind of feels, um, makes the requesters feel more engaged. They kind of, uh, like I said, feel more uh, informal in the interaction with the agent. And in a way, this kind of leads to increased brand loyalty for the business as well. <clears throat> That's kind of a high level overview of why we've introduced emojis. And setting, emo setting up emojis is kind of uh, simple. We just need to, uh, you know, enable this checkbox uh, under chat setup. So there's no extra plugins or anything required. This is all this part of uh, the agent chat plugin. And, uh, you know, this is supported, supported uh, supports self-hosted on-premise in instances. The only uh, thing to call out here is it does not support domain, trans uh, domain separation. So I'll also do a demo after this, but uh, just some screenshots on how this works. So agents can, uh, you know, they have a, a button here, which uh, showcases all the emojis. Uh, this is very similar to, you know, uh, how emojis work across other products and devices. I'm sure all of you on this call have uh, used emojis at some point. Um, so they can either use the search bar that's specific to emojis to search for emojis that they want, or they can also key in emojis uh, to express, you know, common smileys and such. Um, yeah, and that's kind of uh, some of these screenshots here as to how this works. <clears throat> I'll also actually talk through the configurable toolbar before we do the demo because they kind of uh, go hand in hand. So um, configurable toolbar basically allows you to create uh, custom um, buttons on this toolbar for specific uh, you know, use cases. So a common example that you've already seen is uh, creating an incident, right? Uh, so as a business, if you see some of these actions that are repetitive in nature or, you know, that come up more often than some of the others, then you can uh, go ahead and create uh, toolbar buttons for these so that agents can access them easily. So one example that I already called out was uh, the way to create an incident. Uh, the other might be, you know, scheduling appointments. Let's say, uh, you know, your, uh, um, you know, one of the primary call drivers is for uh, end users to set up um, appointments with uh, your technicians, then you might want to create a toolbar just for that. Or if you want to request help from specific managers, uh, where you might feel that, you know, as an agent, you kind of always go to this person than anybody else, then you can uh, create a, a toolbar just for that. So those are some of the use cases as to why you would want to create custom uh, you know, buttons or custom quick actions on the toolbar. So uh, in terms of setup, um, you know, you would have to go into chat setup and you would have to, uh, I will show this in the demo. I know the screenshot is kind of blurry, but you have a separate tab where you can uh, control which quick actions are shown. And it also will uh, tell you how those quick actions uh, are configured on the toolbar itself. You know, I can show you a demo of both of these. Uh, so, uh, so this is the icon that you would uh, use to search for emojis. So if I click on this, I see a whole list of emojis, uh, very similar to what you would experience on iOS or Android or any you know, popular platforms that support emojis. And this is the custom search um, you know, box for emojis. So if I can, I can search for specific emojis if I want. Let's see, don't do that. And I can also key in using my keyboard versus just you know picking it from the actual emoji palette. So if I do that, I should go through. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Um, so the other one that I wanted to talk about was uh, you know the configurable toolbar. So I need to switch back as the system administrator.
So if I go into chat setup, I have this tab here for quick action toolbar controls. So these are all the quick actions that are currently enabled on this instance. And as you can see, you can turn on, turn off each of these using the active flag. Um, so the one that I'm going to show you again, and this I kind of already touched upon this in the dynamic translation demo, is the create incident one. So if I go into that, it should open up. Yeah, this is kind of where you would, uh, you know, upload the icon, um, you know, and basically configure this. And if I switch back to Beth, I would see that as a button here. So the way I would enable this is I just click on this and I can uh, just the same as what I showed you as part of dynamic translation. So I can this incident. Basically, this creates an incident right away versus you know, you know the agent having to go here, click click on create an incident, and so on and so forth. It's it's basically uh, saves a lot of time and improves agent agent productivity in that regard. So that was uh, kind of how emojis work and you know the configurable toolbar works.